Hey guys, there was an epidemic called vaping, which slowly is becoming clearer. But the idea is that I could tell you 8 million people a year die of tobacco related uh, lung disease in the way of cancers as well as emphysema and other things. I could tell you that another half a million people die of secondary smoke uh, inhalation. But the truth is this, that seven out of 10 smokers, particularly older smokers, want to quit and just don't have a way to do it. So along comes vaping, where they vaporize nicotine through a delivery device that does not burn all of the contaminants and give you the carbon monoxide and 2,000 other chemicals. And the thought is that you can use it as a bridge to quitting smoking. What we find, however, is that it has its own set of issues. And today we're going to talk a little bit about that. So join me on the channel. Hey guys, Dr. Nene here. I practice as a cardiothoracic, vascular, and general surgeon, and I'm now a health tech innovator who wants to improve lifespans and lifestyles. So stay healthy, stay curious, and keep watching. Vaping came along at a period where smoking was going out of vogue, and both socially as well as publicly, it was being banned in different locations. We know what smoking can cause and what tobacco can cause, and I've talked about that in a different episode about lung cancer, so you can refer back to that. And in truth, seven out of 10 people who smoke have wanted to quit at one time or another, but have found it incredibly difficult. In my own patient pool of heart surgery patients, uh, we often had 50% of them coming to me with smoking as a independent risk factor for heart disease. And we were successful in 90% of them in helping them quit through different means. And we've talked a little bit about that in other episodes. Vaping was thought to be a means to deliver nicotine as a bridge to helping people quit. And the thought was that it would be healthier than smoking because you don't burn through a number of chemicals. But the truth is, it's still a nicotine delivery device. And in 2019, what became apparent is there was a subset of patients, people who were smoking tetrahydrocannabinol, and as marijuana got legalized, the delivery device was becoming the vape, and it was uh, added with vitamin E acetate. And what ended up happening is they found as high as 70 people dying from uh, something which we call a valley e-cigarette or vaping-associated lung injury, where you actually get vitamin E acetate as well as the THC in the uh, end of the bronchial tree, and it leads to something which looks like a pneumonia but can actually cause coughing, and in the worst cases, ventilator dependence and death. There are an additional 3,000 patients who are hospitalized for this. And so, at that point, the question came that is vaping actually safer than smoking? Well, the thoughts are that it's still probably safer than smoking as a nicotine delivery device. But the real question then became that a lot of the vape-related uh, marketing material um, appealed to youngsters because it added flavors like bubblegum, cherry, strawberry, and other things, and made the whole product a nicotine delivery device, which was almost like having a, a candy. And so what was happening is, while older patients were potentially using it as a means to potentially quit, um, which may or may not work, younger patients were getting hooked to it and thereby getting hooked to nicotine, which is very addictive. As a result of that, both in the US as well as in India in 2019 and 20, um, in India in particular, all e-cigarettes were banned. And the thought was that the risk to the public was higher, particularly for kids, and we didn't know if the materials which were given um, in the actual uh, vaping uh, units were from the manufacturers and whatnot, leading to all kinds of lung complications. But I'll agree that the lung complications are fairly limited, but I think the idea is that because kids were getting addicted, they stopped it. The same thing happened in the US where uh, the government basically came out hard and fined the companies selling these vapes and actually banned all flavored vapes. Now, let's ask some hard questions, right? Is vaping safer than smoking? 
Smoking generates up to 7,000 different cross-contaminants, the least of which being carbon monoxide, tar, nicotine, all of the other stuff. And in addition to harming the smoker's lungs, also has a byproduct of harming uh, people around that person. And so in many places, smoking has been banned. Now, my view would be that vaping might be safer in that context in that it doesn't necessarily um, create all of those burn artifacts. But I don't think that it's as effective as using other means like a uh, doctor-supervised program in addition to group counseling to take care of the triggers as well as um, get people to quit. And that long-term has been shown to be uh, effective at getting people to quit. So the summary is this, is vaping safer than smoking? Perhaps. Is it the right means to get people to quit? No, there's way better ways. And will it be shown over time to have its own set of complications? Yes, as shown in the case of THC and vitamin E acetate. So in short, my view would be that if you really wanna quit smoking, I'll help you. I will be there for you, as will all of your doctors. And there are many reasons to quit, but vaping as a means to kind of just deliver the nicotine, well look, you could chew gum and do all of that other stuff. Nicotine has its own issues, increases blood pressure, can uh, precipitate heart disease if you already have blockages, and can cause other issues. And so if you can avoid it, it's better. Uh, and there'll be arguments both ways. But anyway, I'm not doing a public service address, nor am I preaching to you guys. I'm just giving you the facts. The decisions lie with you guys, ultimately, and I will always be there for you. Because what I want is for you to walk with me on this journey of life for 100 years, and that's the only interest. If you like what we said, hit the like button. Hit the share button so more people can see it. Always hit the bell icon so you'll see the new episodes coming up. And as always, it's a pleasure to be with you guys. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode.